Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to do a video reviewing EK02 Android 2.3.6 on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. This is the latest Android version for your Epic 4G Touch. My, it hasn't been an OTA update yet from Sprint, but my guess is it will soon. So here's a review video. I only played with it for about two minutes. So I noticed a couple changes. I'll point those out now and I'll show you that I'm running it. So as you can see, same lock screen. It is a little different though. When you press on it, you got four arrows that pop up. One, two, three, four, that let you know you can go any way with it. So there's a little aesthetic feature. I also noticed right away when, with TouchWiz, the dots right here aren't numbered. I, if I recall, those were numbered. So also in the app drawer, they aren't numbered either. So just a little, little change to that. Other than that, not much aesthetically has changed. Everything looks about the same. Battery icon, notification bar, everything's the same. Another big difference is it does have overscroll glow. I know something all of you love. I'm going to go to settings. If I go down, there you go. You got overscroll glow instead of it bouncing. That's what it did before on Android 2.3.4, EG30. It would bounce, but now it has overscroll glow. As you can see, a nice blue color to it looks exactly the same as the original Samsung Epic 4G. They have the same color overscroll glow. But anyways, I'm going to go to about phone. And as you can see, build number right there, gingerbread, EK02. As you can see, also Android version 2.3.6. Tap on it repeatedly, and you should get a nice little Easter egg. At least you should. I don't know if it they took it out, but I believe... There you go. Okay, sorry. Enough of that. But as you can see, also my baseband version is still EG31. So keep that in mind. If your baseband version and the last four digits say EG12 or EG31, you cannot upgrade to the EK02 modem but if your baseband version says eg30 you can i'll probably do a video showing you how to upgrade your modem to the ek02 modem in case you're interested in that i do have videos showing you how to install this whether you're on stock or have clockwork mod both of both ways i will link that in the description of the video of this of this video uh, but other than that nothing really seems to have changed no really uh, new apps nothing Nothing to point out. I haven't noticed anything. I don't recall the Media Hub icon looking like that. It might have. I, I don't use Media Hub, so I'm not sure. But other than that, no new apps. Everything looks about the same. Other than that overscroll glow, you don't have CRT screen off animation, unfortunately. But you got the arrows and you got overscroll glow. Those are the two main differences and the touch whiz not having the dots when with the home screen in the app drawer. But other than that, that's just a very quick review. Everything looks very similar. It's just probably some minor upgrades. Hopefully the EK02 modem will fix any loss of signal issues with you losing your signal. Up at the top notification bar, you'll see a little circle or ghost loss of signal. Hopefully it will eliminate those once it comes out. And so other than that, that's just a quick review of EK02 Android 2.3.6 and your Epic 4G Touch. Be sure to subscribe to me for future videos. Let me know what you think of this as well. If there's something I left out, please let me know what you guys think of this. If you're getting loss of signal, if you can upgrade to the EK02 modem. Otherwise, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Links in the description of the video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.